The team here at the Birmingham Institute of Forest Research are undertaking absolutely crucial research about how ecosystems like this forest are going to respond to climate change and rising levels of carbon dioxide in the future. This addresses the fundamental pivot point of climate change, which is the elevated CO2, which drives everything else that we worry about in terms of rainfall and floods and so on. And I think the, the exciting thing is that these researchers are not working on their individual projects. They all talk to each other, they all share the data, and they all see the bigger picture in a very interdisciplinary way. This is my lab, and um, up in the tree canopy is where I spend most of my time. What are you doing and what are you measuring when you're up there in the canopy? So I measure the carbon uptake of the leaves. Um, this is really important because the leaves themselves up in the canopy are the interface of atmospheric carbon dioxide and terrestrially stored carbon. So I measure the carbon uptake as well as the water use efficiency of those leaves. So what are you finding? What, are, what have your results shown? So we found that the mature oak trees, which are the, 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 domin the canopy dominant species here, they're taking up and they're responsive to that carbon that we're giving them. So they've increased their carbon uptake by around 30% to the CO2 levels that we're expecting in 2050. You're also thinking about the wider ecosystem, aren't you? And, and, and what the changes in the trees mean for everything else. So yes, the data that I'm collecting is the first step, and then we can understand and quantify the actual carbon budget of the forest itself. I mean, I'm obviously passionate about soil, but uh, I think it's very, very important to consider like what's happening below ground and not just above ground. And obviously your PhD project is a, is a standalone project in its own right, but do you then look across to see how it, how it links up with research that people like Anna Gardner are doing? It's really important to communicate with the other researchers because it's like we each collect our own data, but it's not our own data because we share it with Bifor because everything is related to soil moisture, soil temperature, photosynthesis, it's all linked together. I use the extra data that's collected by all these other people for the big experiment and just look at the photosynthetic response. It's just incredibly interesting that we're looking at climate change. Such an such a important question. I found out new things which are interesting to me, but the most amazing thing is how the team works as a network and we all try to help each other even though we're focused on our own disciplines. Our models are only as good as the data we put into them. That's why we need experiments like this. And with this kind of research, we'll be better able to protect our natural environments in the future.